the iPhone SE 4 renders have surfaced, and they show a level of premium design that we have not seen in any previous SE model. In fact, it appears to carry some upgrades from the iPhone 14 and even hints at features found in the iPhone 15. I have a number of observations to share with you, but first, please hit the like button. First and foremost, the iPhone SE series is Apple's way of repurposing older hardware, making these phones more affordable. However, if you can get features from the iPhone 14 or iPhone 15 at a significantly lower price, what's not to like? According to the renders, the iPhone SE 4 has a display size similar to the iPhone 14 and iPhone 15, and it supports OLED technology just like the iPhone 14. However, because the iPhone SE 4 is aimed at the low-end market, it may not use the LTPO OLED panel, which means it will not support promotion technology, and you will miss out on the buttery smooth high refresh rate. Moving on, we can see a notch cutout at the top of the display, just like the iPhone 14. This suggests that, for the first time in an iPhone SE model, Face ID is making an appearance. Previously, the iPhone SE 3 had the Touch ID option, which has become somewhat outdated. Looking at the bottom of the phone, we spot a USB-C port, which is an upgrade from the iPhone 14 that was released with a lightning port. This isn't the only feature from the iPhone 15. If you carefully observe the renders, you might see what looks like an action button. As many of you know, the action button was introduced with the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, allowing users to assign a specific functionality triggered with a button press. Turning our attention to the back, there's a single camera cutout housing a 48 megapixel camera. The release date for the iPhone SE 4 is slated for 2025, and these were my observations. If you notice anything else in these renders, feel free to share it in the comments. Subscribe for more updates, and I'll see you in the next video. This is TechTix, signing off.